Hi, it is Marie and I am back again today with another video. I think it's pretty common of people who have cerebral palsy to go through those periods where you feel like no one really understands you um, and no one really understands how cerebral palsy affects you. Um, this might come after someone calls you lazy or someone says something um, that offends you uh, and you just feel like how inconsiderate was that person you know, they don't understand what I'm going through that was just rude and inconsiderate and small-minded. Um, but I think I've come to the realization as I got older that there's not a lot of awareness about cerebral palsy. And many people don't know how it actually affects people who have it. Um, I think of my parents. Um, you know, they don't really know how cerebral palsy affects me. They don't really know how I feel day to day because they've never had cerebral palsy. They don't have the same perception of the world that I do. Um, you know, you, you can learn all you can from doctors, from books, um, I guess from online sources today. But unless you really have it, you can't really understand it. Um, and so, I've, you know, I've, I try to be open with people. And I try my hardest not to get offended by what people say. Um, because I, I feel like a lot of the stuff that people say uh, isn't meant to be offensive, you know? Um, and if we just get all, all riled up by it um, and we get mad at that person, it really shuts down what could be, what could turn into a good conversation. Um, I, and I think a lot of people don't say things to you out of a fear that it's going to offend you. Um, and so that really stops people from having a conversation about what cerebral palsy is, how does it affect you. Um, but, you know, it all comes down to you have to, when you feel like you're isolated, when you feel like people don't understand, you know, you have to realize that they probably don't understand what you're going through. Um, and I think for me, I have to try and be as considerate of that as possible. Um, there are times where things just will offend me. Like, um, right off the bat, it's like, it's like the things that offend me are the times that people go a little too far. They don't know when to shut up. Um, and, and that, that's when things offend me. But I, I try, I try not to get riled up about it. And I also think, um, in regards to my family and my closest friends, sometimes them calling me lazy is the correct thing. You know, I can't blame everything on my cerebr cerebral palsy, and sometimes I do, and, and sometimes, you know, I'm, I am lazy. <laughs> um, and so that really gives me, like, the, the kind of realization that, oh, you know, I, I can do this. And I think the best, the best criticism is from those that are closest to you um, because I, I think they see what you really can be. Um, so sometimes when they push you to get out of that box, get out of your comfort zone, you know, those are the best times that are going to help you grow as an individual and as someone with cerebral palsy. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. so. But to get back to the whole understanding thing, yes, you, d you do have to be understanding of people um, and understand that what a lot of the things they say are not meant to be offensive. Um, you know, they just, they don't have the same perspective you do. Um, and I think if we can be understanding of that, you know, we can make uh, cerebral palsy more of a known thing. Um, but that's all I wanted to say, and I will say goodbye, and I will see you in the next video.